हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड मल्टीपल एक्सेस टेक्निक्स जनरली मल्टीपल एक्सेस मींस टू एक्सेस मल्टीपल इंफॉर्मेशन एट ए टाइम इन मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन और इन सेलुलर कम्युनिकेशन द बेस स्टेशन हैज टू ट्रांसमिट to many different mobiles at a time this process is known as multiple access multiple access is achieved by sharing the resources of air interface so to understand multiple access technique let us consider mobile communication system or cellular communication system in mobile communication system the base station has to transmit to many different mobiles at a time this process is known as multiple access so transmitting information or transmitting signal to many different mobiles at a time is known as multiple access the multiple access is achieved by sharing the resources that are available at air interface so we know in mobile communication air will act as medium so whatever resources that are available in air interface that is shared to achieve the multiple access technique there are two types of multiple access techniques first one is frequency division multiple access commonly known as fdma and second one is time division multiple access which is tdma there are two types of multiple access technique first one is frequency division multiple access which is commonly known as fdma and time division multiple access which is commonly known as tdma this figure shows the example of fdma and tdma in fdma at the same time the frequency bands are divided into different slots as you can see here the frequency bands are divided into different slots and these slots are allotted to user for the access of information in time division multiple access a single frequency band is allotted to multiple user at different time slots as you can see here this is one of the time slot that is allotted to an user to access the information and this is another time slot for user to access the information with a single frequency band FDMA was used by first generation system in this technique each mobile receives on its own carrier frequency that are distinguished with each other using analog filters here the carriers are separated by guard bands which minimizes the interference between the carrier frequencies fdma was used by first generation systems so frequency division multiple access was used by first generation system in fdma each mobile receives on its own carrier frequency that are distinguished by using the analog filters so you can see here each mobile will receive the information on its own carrier frequencies that are distinguished using analog filters these carriers are separated by guard bands which minimizes the interference between the carrier frequencies so the frequency that are not used by any user are used as guard bands and these guard bands will minimize the interference between each carrier frequencies that are used to access the multiple information in tdma mobile receives information on the same carrier frequency but at a different time so in time division multiple access the mobile will receive the information on same carrier but at different time as you can see in this figure we are having only a single carrier frequency but the same carrier frequency is divided into the time intervals so that the user can access the information on the same frequency band but at different time gsm uses the technique which is a mix of 
frequency and time division access. So GSM which is used for mobile communication uses the technique that is a mix of both frequency division and time division multiple access. LTE which is long time evolution uses the technique which is known as orthogonal frequency division multiple access which is commonly known as OFDMA. So here GSM uses a technique that is a mix of both frequency and time division multiple access and long term evolution which is LTE uses a technique which is known as orthogonal frequency division multiple access which is commonly known as OFDMA. The third generation communication system uses a technique which is known as code division multiple access which is commonly known as CDMA. The third generation communication system uses a technique which is known as code division multiple access which is CDMA. In this technique the mobile receives the information on same carrier at same time but the signals are labeled by codes. So in CDMA signals are labeled by codes which allows the mobile to separate its own signal from those of other mobiles that can access the information. Here LTE also uses the concept of CDMA. Here you need to remember that multiple access is actually a generalization of a simpler technique which is known as multiplexing. So multiple access is generalization of a simpler technique which is known as multiplexing. But there is a difference between multiple access and multiplexing. In multiple access the system can dynamically change the allocation of resources to different mobiles while in multiplexing the resources that are allocated are fixed so which cannot be changed. So in multiple access the resources can dynamically change but in multiplexing the resources are fixed. This is about the concept of multiple access. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.